Hi, Nicholas. I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Um, this film just seems like it was so much fun to make. Tell us what stood out for you when you first read the script. Uh, originally, when I read it, it just felt uh, very different to other things I've been reading. It was funny, but twisted and dark and, and um, had a lot to say. So it was just uh, something that I was like, oh, this could be a good film. I think I'd watch this. And Mark, I guess, working from on Succession, he has sort of a knack for making unlikable characters, making us care about them. Maybe your character in particular. How did you see him and how did you prepare to play him? Uh, Tyler's pretty despicable in many ways, but he's also kind of endearing because he's like a little bit lost. Um, and I think he's kind of fallen into this cult-like environment and wants to be loved so much, but doesn't really have any self-confidence. So, is it, yeah, that's how I viewed the character. And, um, and Mark, yeah, he's such an incredible director, and I love Succession, so if we could capture any essence of what he does on that show, then we'd be happy. And, you know, it was really going to come down to this amazing cast. I mean, working opposite Anya, working opposite Rafe, and, and the tension and the changing relationships. And I believe you also had all of you on set all of the time. So what was it like shooting, and, and particularly being with other people? It was really fun on set. I mean, amazing cast, and you got to kind of just watch everyone work, particularly Rafe, because, you know, his parts are so kind of formative in terms of him giving speeches, which is amazing to have a front row seat to that. Um, and Anya's incredible to act with, um, you know, so, so honest and comes up with brilliant ideas. So um, it was really fun. And I believe all the food was edible and you definitely look, had to look like you were enjoying it. What was it like? I ate a lot of it. Um, tons of bread and, and bits and bobs. I ate basically my plates and Anya's plates um, for character purposes, not just because I'm greedy. And what do you hope people take away? I mean, it is biting class satire. I mean, there's those thriller elements. Um, what do you think some of the messages might be? I think people will take away different things, you know, and I've heard that from screenings so far, you know, half the audience have been laughing at moments, whilst the other half have been screaming or in shock. So I think that's the thing that I enjoy about cinema, when you can kind of separate people and divide the experience. So hopefully everyone sees something different in all these patrons of this restaurant, sees, like, different weird parts of themselves that they relate to. I mean, I must have seen about a boy about a trillion times. How do you look back on the career that you've had so far and being in Skins and, and where you want to go next? Uh, I don't know. Someone just told me it's been 20 years since about a boy came out this year, which is quite mad. Uh, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I'm work, getting to work with good people and, uh, and I still love acting, so... Can you still sing Killing, so Killing Me Softly at the Fan? Yeah, yeah, I can sing it really well. Let me shout to you. Enjoy the evening. Thank you. Yeah, all the chefs are so incredible. They, you know, they worked on getting that, that kitchen really smooth and, and um, in sync. All those actors did an incredible job in terms of being physically intimidating, but also very accurate with what they were doing behind the plate in the kitchen. Yeah, that, that's also a fun thing because Mark's, I mean, I've loved Succession, so again, to work with Mark, I was like fanning over that. Um, and yeah, it felt like a little theatre, theatre, theater, you know, everyone sitting in that restaurant for seven, eight weeks. And, you know, You'd get to watch other tables do parts of scenes and you'd be improvising maybe in the background but then they'd do a different take so you get to watch other things. So it was kind of like a really supportive environment for everyone to kind of just try things. Uh, it was more in terms of the character, I was like, oh this is a weird, weird guy, there's, a, there's many different ways he can be played. But then it was also like, um, just like a fun, different original script and I was like, I don't know how this is going to turn out. But it felt like it would divide audiences and whether they'd be laughing or screaming in certain moments and I was like, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I love Nick, we did a film with a small team, um, so it was nice to then come with him again. And um, he's so good, like, he plays as Dracula, that's just like, fun. Yeah. I got to, like, sound and have that in my face, which is in my eyeballs, which is amazing.